So when we add and subtract a long string of numbers, the best thing to do sometimes is to rewrite everything as an addition problem. So if I rewrite this as addition, I have 7 plus, instead of minus 10, it's plus a negative 10. This is already addition, plus 2. But minus 5 should be rewritten as plus negative 5. Did you notice this? It's plus a negative 3. It's already written the correct way, so we're going to just rewrite it again. And then plus 11 is already addition. So now the best thing to do is to combine all of the positives and then all of the negatives. So I'm actually going to make a little chart. I'm going to say positives on this side, negatives on this side. So the first positive number is 7. 10 is a negative, so I'll write that here. Then I have a positive 2. I have a negative 5. I have a negative 3. And I have a positive 11. So the best thing to do, and the reason we do it this way, is because it's kind of like combining like terms. I have 7 positives and 2 more positives. So 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus 11 is 20. OK. Now on this side, I have negative 10 and negative 5. So it's negative 15. Plus a negative 3 is negative 18. See how much easier it is instead of worrying about, OK, this is positive, this is negative. Just combine like terms. So I'm going to rewrite this expression here. And the last step is super easy. You already know 20 minus 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Next screen, you're going to try this.